Welcome everybody to a new episode of the Startup Show. Today I have the big pleasure to introduce you to Reto, the co-founder of SkiNow.ch. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks Cedric and uh, thanks for having me here. It's a great pleasure to be here. Welcome back to a new episode of the Startup Show. Today I have the big pleasure to introduce you to Reto, the co-founder of SkiNow.ch. Um, it's been a big hobby of mine uh, to go skiing, snowboarding over the weekends, vacation. Uh, I grew up on skiing and snowboarding, so I'm very happy to have you here on the show. So, Reto, give us first, uh, as usual on the startup show, a little bit of background about yourself. My name is uh, Reto Trachsel. I grew up in a Swiss mountains in a village called uh, Reichenbach. It's really, really a uh, pure nature there. My values are also a little bit uh, nature driven. Uh, I really enjoy the time uh, there and now at the moment uh, I'm studying at the HSG. I'm doing the master in uh, McFinn, uh, accounting and finance. In my leisure time, if I have some, <laughs> then I try to do a lot of sports um, like cross-country skiing, jogging and uh, yeah, for sure also uh, some skiing. Yeah. yeah. So you started a portal for, for skiing. Um, so tell us a little bit about like Ski Now that CH, what, what do you guys do? At the days with uh, not that good weather condition or uh, during the week, there we see that um, the capacity is not used. Mm -hmm. And uh, we think there is a huge potential attracting more um, customers, more skiers, during, uh, especially during these, uh, these days, because of the really low um, marginal um, costs, the modern railway is able to increase their revenue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe before we continue, explain maybe to my audience, because I have a lot of audience, you know, like from outside of Switzerland. So I would uh, imagine that probably in Israel they have never skied before. In America, I don't know exactly how much percentage they're skiing or not. But maybe you can explain a little bit what, what is so capital intensive when you're running a ski slope? They did a lot of investments in new equipments um, because the equipment was, uh, was old. And then they really invest a lot of money um, to have these chair whales, uh, mountain chair whales, um, with a uh, really um, huge uh, capacity and also the artificial snow making because uh, as you know, I mean, global warming is yep. a big, big uh, topic and big issue um, for mountain railways. And now this, these uh, investments, they, they um, have to pay off. And uh, yeah, as I told you before, it's uh, really difficult because these uh, heavy fluctuations uh, in combination with these uh, fixed costs is uh, really challenging. Mm -hmm. What I like to do on the startup show is asking the entrepreneurs to give me like a real life example how to use your platform. So maybe just take it away and give us a little bit of an insight. Like let's say you and me, we decide we want to go skiing this season. What do we do? Let's take for example um, a student from uh, St. Gallen. He wants to go ski uh, in the mountains. Uh, maybe in around 10 days. So there is a big uncertainty uh, how the weather conditions will be. Um, so what he can do is uh, he can choose a destination like for example St. Moritz, uh, it's really famous. Uh, normally the prices are around maybe um, 70 to 80 uh, Swiss francs. Because he doesn't know how the weather will be, he can make a, a bid, um, let's say for example 40 Swiss francs, mm -hmm. so he's a, maybe a discount of uh, 50% and uh, maybe the mountain railway will accept this offer due um, to the um, weather risk they have now because uh, due this, uh, or through our platform, um, the mountain railways are able to um, source this um, or part of this weather risk um, or put it on the consumer side, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so basically you, you take, if I'm a student, like I don't mind to go skiing when it's bad weather, and if I'm lucky, I get good weather. Is yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's, uh, that's game, yeah. Yeah, it's that's a game. game. So, you know, uh, we, we are both a master's student here at the University of uh, St. Gallen. Uh, I'm curious to know what motivates you to say, like, I want to pursue my dream of my own company versus, you know, going to one of the big, uh, let's say, consulting investment banks. How come you decide or you, you want to go down the road of entrepreneurship? Uh, maybe it helped me that I've been in an investment bank. <laughs> so, I did some first experiences. Uh, it was a really interesting, uh, really hard time there. But uh, at some point I realized that it's much more fun to, to uh, build up your own company. And uh, it's really interesting because uh, we are two. Um, there's another uh, co-founder with me. And if uh, somebody of us is not working, then nothing is, is uh, going on. Yeah, nothing is moving. It's just uh, you uh, just stay at this point and uh, yeah. 
and you don't make any progress. And that's what I think is really interesting because you really have to work hard. I mean, startup business is, uh, is really hard, um, really challenging, but it's uh, yeah, so much fun to, to build up uh, your own company and uh, to be your own boss for sure. Yeah. Thank you very much for your insights into skinow.ch and on the entrepreneurship. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching this episode. As I said before, I'm a big fan of, of skiing and snowboarding, so go check out skinow.ch. And uh, I'll see you soon with a new episode of The Startup Show. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.